A letter from one iconic crooner to another has resurfaced more than 25 years after it was written. George Michael passed away this Christmas, but back in 1990, he reflected on fame and all the baggage that came along with it, telling the Los Angeles Times, Everybody wants to be a star. I certainly did, and I worked hard to get it, but I was miserable, and I don't want to feel that way again. Speaking about the longevity of his career at the time, he said, I'm not stupid enough to think that I can deal with another 10 or 15 years of major exposure. I think that is the ultimate tragedy of fame. People who are simply out of control, who are lost, I've seen so many of them and I don't want to be another cliché. Well, another famous singer had something to say about Michael's complaints. Frank Sinatra wrote this letter in response to the interview, which was published in The Times. Here's a kid who wanted to be a pop star since I was about seven years old. And now that he's a smash performer and songwriter at 27, he wants to quit doing what tons of gifted youngsters all over the world would shoot grandma for. Just one crack at what he's complaining about. Sinatra also had a different definition to the tragedy of fame Michael mentioned. The tragedy of fame is when no one shows up and you're singing to the cleaning lady in some empty joint that hasn't seen a paying customer since St. Swithin's Day. And you're nowhere near that. You're top dog on the top rung of a tall ladder called stardom. Two different outlooks on fame from two of music's biggest names. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Montalbano.